What is going on YouTube, one only XRM here. Welcome back to the channel, because today we are back out at Indy Motorsports Ranch for the IMR Riders Club that Chris Paris puts on. Today we have, ah, got the Prilia back out on the track because we got fresh tires. We got these sweet stomp grips right here. And if you follow me on Instagram, I asked a question because the purpose of this video is to go over some of the things to think about and to prepare for when you come to the track. You know, if you're like me, you've only been in the track a few times or you may not have ever been and there's some little nuances you don't know about and it's really good to kind of talk to people that obviously have been here before so that's what i'm going to do for you some of the things you need to think about when you come to a track is first and foremost you got to look at the website for the event that's being put on for you they're going to list a lot of requirements you know what your bike needs to be what gear you need to have all the important information is going to keep you safe keep your bike safe and keep the riders around you safe you're going to be on their website and if they aren't send them an email and ask them those questions now once you've gone through the pertinent information that you need to know before coming to the track you know all the requirements obviously check to make sure your gear is good check to make sure your bike is in serviceable condition and what that means is your tires are good you're not you don't have any weird leaks your brakes are solid and they're not fading you don't have issues with them you know serviceable tires these are brand new race car <laughs> And they're brand new tires, so they're perfect for right now. But there's something you gotta consider when you come out to a track like this. You wanna check the weather conditions to the track you're going to. It might be rainy, it might be nasty, it might be freezing cold or steaming hot. All those play a factor in how you ride and the way your bike is going to respond to those temperatures. Like for me, I mentioned I have brand new tires and because these are new and they're not quite scrubbed in, just like when you ride on the street, they're slick. And having slick tires is a little rough, especially now that you're out on the track, it's a little chilly out. You're not going to have the contact. You're not going to have the traction that you think you would normally have. So you kind of have to be careful. You got to get the heat and the tires, get them going. Some tracks require you to tape these up. That's important because if you come to a track with not these taped up, they're going to make you do it. Now this particular track, this event, it's not a requirement. Same thing as the mirrors. They don't need to be taped up here. In most places, they require you to do that. The bigger events, they don't want anything to break and then go all over the track and make it so that people can't enjoy their track time, you know? You wanna make sure you have a full tank of gas before you come here because you never know if you're gonna run out. If you're one of those people that do a ton of sessions, you're gonna run out of gas pretty quickly. When you ride them like you do at a track, you end up burning through fuel a lot faster than you normally would. Like, even on a canyon run, you're not gonna burn through the fuel the same way you will at a track. So keep that in mind. Either bring some extra with you or know where there's a can or one of your friends, just keep that in mind. You also want to have some tools handy, you know. You need wrenches to adjust stuff. You never know when you might need to take a mirror off. Say you do dump it and it's just flopping. You need Allen keys to take them off. Bring a small tool set or have a friend that does have them. Also, tire pressure gauge. Your tire pressures, really look at your manufacturer. Some of them give you an idea of what street and track you're supposed to be, so look them up. Or there's also a lot of knowledge around the track. Just again, pick and choose wisely. <laughs> Crow Arizona, look him up, Instagram and YouTube channel down below. He wanted to know whether or not you needed tire warmers. Cause there are a lot of bikes out there you see with tire warmers and you might think, I have to have these. The purpose of them obviously is to keep your tires at a really nominal temperature to keep them sticky. This really comes into play with slicks. Do you need them? So the short answer to that is no, you don't need them. Do they help? Absolutely, they do help. That means you don't spend that extra lap trying to warm your tires up because they're already there. You also don't have that little sketchy section where your tires aren't quite warm enough but you want to try to push it tire warmers try to kind of fix that <laughs> as you can tell now, another question that was asked to me is how much do these track days cost and really that depends on the event here this particular rmr riders club is 250 dollars a day some places are cheaper some are more expensive you kind of just obviously got to look at the event see what the amenities are around here indy motorsports ranch has awesome stuff so they are going to be a little more pricey but you get what you pay for in my eyes. Now another question that was asked to me was 
how long are the times, meaning like how long are the sessions. And again, that really depends on the particular track day you attend. Some are like 20 minutes, some are 30 minutes. And it's not that you have to be out there 20 or 30 minutes. You can be out there for all 30 minutes or 20 minutes, or you can come in after two laps and then go back out again. Is it me or the wind kick up way strong? Yeah, it did. Okay. Hey. <laughs> He's like, oh god, I'm on camera again. I'm on candid camera. Okay, so I'm not crazy. Now, some might think that because you come to a track that you have to have that racer skill, you have to have a ton of experience. No, <laughs> you come to a track to improve your skills. So if you're brand new at riding even, you can come out to a track, take a course, go do a lead follow with someone that's been here that has a lot of experience, and you can learn some valuable, valuable skills that really translate to the road rather nicely. Come out here, you have fun, but more importantly, you improve your skills. I'm one of those people that loves to get better and better and better and better at things that I do, whether speaking, film, editing, riding, driving, it doesn't matter. I love getting better and a track is one of those places that you come to hassle-free and there's a ton of knowledge here. That's the best part. So here's my major mistake that I made on the track. You see this guy right past my right knuckle here. He is a much, much faster rider than I am. And as we come up this hill and around this turn, I know he's back there because I look in my mirrors, which is a huge mistake to do. And I go, you know what? I'm going to go wide so I let him go around me. As you can see in the video here, he goes wide as well, and I pretty much cut him off. This is a huge problem and a major mistake on my part because on a track, you want to be very predictable. The move that I did was not predictable at all, and it almost caused this rider to, to actually go on the gravel, and that is an HP4 race that I almost sent off the track. When you're out there, stay on your line and stay predictable. Another aspect you want to think about while you're out of the track is... If you've never been there, you don't know the lines, you don't know the braking zones, you don't know where the apexes are at, do a lead follow. Find someone that knows this track really well and is nice enough and is capable of keeping you behind them and showing you the ropes. You know, when you come out to a track like Indy, there's a lot of hidden turns, there's a lot of blind corners, there's some really important braking zones that you want to hit, and without the proper guidance, you could have a bad day or you're just going to have not so much fun and you're going to be really frustrated with where you're at. I can't say how much fun I had today at the IMR Riders Club that Chris Paris puts on. If you want to go to it, there's a link down below. Go to it. It's $250 for the day, $500 for two days, and it's a blast. I can't thank On Any Moto enough for not only allowing me to use their awesome garage here, but they also got this down here for me. They're the greatest. That's why I love using this shop. Check them out. Obviously, their link's down below. It always is. So if you ever have any more questions, please don't hesitate. Leave some comments down below if there's anything I didn't cover that you'd like me to go over because we're coming back here and we're going to get some more stuff. So with that, you all have a good one. I'm out.